I'm here. I've got a job. Why are you laughing? You are pulling my leg. I'm serious. Remember I told you I did to spend my savings. I think I was very that day. Yes, I remember. I was at Trump's Philip Days when the call came in. I couldn't believe myself. Wow. So on what position in the company were you in? The position to the, the position of PA to the MD. With a salary of one hundred and fifty thousand. We submitted its life. Like what on you? God. What have I done to deserve all these misfortunes? Damn what are you saying? After three years of joblessness, now that the stars have decided to shine on, on me, you should be happy for me. In fact, for what? Exactly my point, Tony. After three years of joblessness, hardship, frustration, humiliation, and death, and you have worked as an MD in one of the companies in the past, so this is the only position they seem to fit you in. I'm not happy. Don't forget, Mr. Fred will train me up because he wanted to test a friend with you. When I checked him to his protein, he said, he tarnished my feelings that I robbed the company 20 million. You were aware of it. The news went by So happy for you. Why? For your husband's job, of course. Let's cheers to that. Laura, look at you. You are so lucky. Look at your home. So nice and furnished. I remember our school days. You and I was one of the hottest chicks then. But today, look at me, Laura. I'm like a beggar. This was not what I bargained for. Will you just shut up, Gif? Can you hear yourself talk? Is it the fact that your husband just got a job as a PA or the fact that I sometimes give you money? I don't get it. Instead of you celebrating, you're here complaining. I consider you as a sister. And I can never make a mockery of your predicament. Girl, come on. Things will get better. Tomorrow is pregnant. Come on, cheer up. That is what I get from everyone. Tomorrow will get pregnant. No one knows tomorrow. Tomorrow better gives birth. Look at me. I'm either begging dresses, food, or clothes from you. Look at me, Laura. I might complain. <sighs> Things better fall in place. Or else I'm going to file for a divorce. Shh. Let me not hear you say that again. What has come over you? Is it the fact that your husband is a PA to the MD? Why are you sounding this way? Look, I know you as a strong girl, so please be strong. I have said my own, Laura. I have things better for in place. Come on, cheer up. Come on, drink up, drink up. Bro, oh, I was about going out. I see, I see. I see. Oh, 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 when are you resuming work? Um, hopefully tomorrow. But please, here, don't forget that promise you made to me. Oh, of course. But it's a good opportunity. You will really make some good money. And at least you avoid me from staying home doing nothing. You're right, you're right. But you know, my wife, she isn't happy about it. She thinks that the job and the salary doesn't suit me. For her, it's like starting from scratch. Of course, you know women, when they get too used to luxury, comfort, and make they lose everything and have to start back. You no, know, they must always complain, but I believe you know, you're all right. Thank you very okay. much for your support. Thank, Thank you. you. And what about us for? Anyway. He will not be back until 9 p.m. And besides, this is my room. He has his own room. 
So feel free, it's okay. Come to think of it, I was even with your husband earlier today. So why are you telling me? Or do you want to spoil this beautiful moment? I'm sorry, I thought I should inform you. I didn't mean to get you upset. You know, sometimes I just sit and I feel like I made a huge mistake by accepting to be... You know, I missed you, so... So? Mini, at home of course. I pretended to be asleep when you came in this morning. If you don't start talking now, I. What will you do? Am I the cause or the failure of your life? Of course! Yes, you are. If I hadn't married you, might be, just might be, I would have been working where I was. If you didn't portray yourself of loose wife, might be my boss would have big interest on you. I don't blame you. Instead of insulting me, go and compare with your mates. Look at Philip. Is your mate here doing better than you? Excuse me. The downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Since you have decided not to reason with me, Waiting out, actually planning on going out. It's okay, thank God I met you. Please, where is my wife? How? Is your wife not at home? No. Oh, that's serious. Um, maybe you should call her on phone or something, or maybe she. I don't know. I don't think so. It has been three days she has not been at home. Are you serious? Three days. Three days. What happened? I hope nothing has happened to my friend. Well, it's a week now we had a fight. It has been a week now that we had a fight. And she threatened to leave the house. But on Friday she left the house. I thought she would be back on Saturday. Today is Monday. Her number is not really true and she is not at home. She usually sleeps out sometimes. She went out with some dresses. I thought she would be at your place. This is serious. You mean gift a married woman sleeps out? That's what I've been going through in my home. Oh my my. Is that the reason you didn't go to work today? You know, I love my wife so much. I'm worried. I want her back. Well, there's a place I know she could be, but. You know what, I'll go and check up on her day. You just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'll, I'll, I'll call her. I'll try to meet up with her. I'll talk to her. She will come back home, okay? Thanks so much. By the way, how is your husband? Philip is fine. He went for a three days business trip. He'll be back today. You mean I should go back home now? You can go. Don't worry. I'll talk to her, okay? Thank you. Rest so assured. Thank you. So
So you blocked him. No wonder he couldn't get to you. Now I know someone really missed Of course, I missed you. Uh huh. Your friend was here yesterday. Which of my friends? Rolex. What's wrong with him? I've told him I would try to integrate him into my company, but she exercise of patience for now and manage the job he has. Hey, that wasn't his reason for coming. So what did? His wife. No, no, no. I don't understand. I have no problem. Well, you know his wife has been threatening to file him for a divorce. I see that is not good enough. She hasn't been at home for days now. I really wonder. That's their family issue. I don't want you to get involved. Honey? But I thought Rolex is like a brother to you. He is not my brother. I'm famished. Can I have my name? But uh, you know, Rolex is, is... I don't want to discuss this issue anymore. Have I made myself clear? Yes, I've heard you. Hello. Oh dear. How are you? Yeah. Actually, I was expecting you yesterday, but you didn't show. Oh, please. We really need to talk. I really need to see you. Yes. We need to talk. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Hello, uh, good afternoon, Rolex. How are you? Please, I, I want to see you. Yeah, everything is okay, everything is fine. Please, it's very important. 
Yes, he's fine, he's fine. Yes, please, I'm waiting. Hurry up, please. Thank you. Thank you. 